Shut up and sit down. Resolute Kraken here with a quick track building tip for you guys. I notice a lot of you newer track builders and even your experienced ones are not including the photo section in your track files. Uh, what does this little button do here? This is a photo button. If you click that, you're taking to a section of the track where the track builder has set the photo option. Um, if the track builder has not done that, I believe it'll just set it to the default pit position, which might not be the best place, the most photogenic place of your track to allow a rider to take a nice photo of their bike uh, on the stand. So again, when the rider goes to that photo button, they can pan, do whatever they want with the bike, zoom in and out, and you can dolly left and right and hit the space bar. They can take a nice uh, photo on your track now. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that using my track builder helper, which it's built into. Or if you're still doing it the, the old manual way, uh, I'll show you where to add that as well. All right, now we're over in the Track Builder Helper tool. And first thing you wanna do is you wanna get over to your Track Info tab. At the bottom of that, you're gonna see this photo section here where you need a long, a lat, the angle, and whether you want the steering to go right or left on the bike. Uh, in a future update, Pobozo had written in his uh, devlog that you're gonna be able to change this within the game uh, when you go to photo mode. So this might not be relevant in the near future. Uh, we'll see how that goes, but I'll make adjustments to this program uh, to handle that when the time comes. So again, we need the long and lat. Those are the important things. Uh, so to do that, what you want to do is you want to go over to the track editor uh, and pull up your track map so we can look at it. All right, so now you have track editor. You have your uh, TRH file loaded up uh, for your track. Uh, you want to pick a place where you think the best photo uh, spot's going to be for your track. Uh, so like I mentioned, if you're not setting that photo uh, section, um, it's going to default to the pits, I believe. Uh, and so if in my case, my pits are back here in this gravel area, uh, but I want to put it over in this AstroTurf area within the warehouse uh, that you guys see uh, on this track. So the long and lat, uh, let's go over here. So long and lat, uh, the long, that is the distance the position on your center line. So if we look right here, uh, my center line, that's about long 336. The latitude is the left or the right of that position on the center line. So to the left is usually, it's always going to be a negative. To the right is going to be a positive. So I could put this position for this photo anywhere I wanted. I could make it all the way across the map that would be latitude minus 168 and relative to 195 long on the position on my center line. Uh, but we're not going to do that. Again, we want to get it right over here uh, in this section right here on this AstroTurf. So again, I just place uh, that indicator along my center line and I'm going to say that's about right there. And then if you're lucky, uh, if it's in a position on the center line where this, this line doesn't move a lot, you can just move your mouse and follow a line to the, pretty much the place you want it directly. So where my mouse cursor is now, that is going to be the position. So if we remember that 336 minus 787, 789, roughly around there, um, we can go back to the track builder helper, enter that location in, and that will be those would be the values that we set there. All right, so once you've entered your uh, long and your latitude settings, uh, what we want to do is, the next one is the angle. This is the angle that the bike will be positioned relative to that exact point, the long, that the bike would be on the center line. So your position on the center line is always going to be zero in the direction that it's going at that exact point on the center line. So let's go back to the track editor, take a look at that, and we'll see why I chose 79 for this position. All right, so we're back in track editor, and again, we're trying to look at which angle we're gonna do. So if we look at where that white line is intersecting that, uh, that green center line, 
uh, you can kind of see that that's the position. So that the way that that green line's going, that will be zero degrees right there. I want my bike though to line up uh, directly with that uh, kind of parallel to that exterior wall or perpendicular to that top wall uh, within that uh, AstroTurf area. Uh, so if we try to just guess it, and this takes some uh, guesswork of and some trial and error um, for the best one, unless it's a very linear layout that you want to do. Uh, but I roughly, if I'm looking at that, it's kind of hard to do this right here because uh, I don't have a good arrow to, to demonstrate this with. But it's about 79 degrees is what I came up with, is what I needed to get that width. And again, this is trial and error, and it's really easy to do. But let's go back to the track builder helper, and I'll show you how to easily just keep modifying that angle. And you can test it in game really fast. Right now, for the sake of this first test, uh, we've got our long and lat set, and we're just going to leave the angle at zero. And again, angle zero will be the direction that the bike is traveling on the center uh, center line at that exact longitudinal position. Uh, so let's see what that looks like in the game just as a default. Now to do this, um, again, we can have the track loaded. You load the, load the track in the game. All you got to do is write your project files, make your edits, write the project files, and then copy to your mods folder. Uh, that'll update the INI file. The game can then read it. And again, you don't have to reload your track each time. You don't have to build your track each time. Just write that, write that file, which writes the INI file. Okay, we're back in game. Let's uh, take a look at where the bike ends up. So as we can see, the, the bike is in the direction in that corner where the center line, where it's, where it's traveling along that center line. Definitely not how we want it to be. I mean, it's not a bad photo, but we want it lined up with that logo there. So again, let's, to get that to line up, Again, we don't have to exit the game. Uh, you can just exit the photo mode, get back to the menu, then let's go back to the track builder helper and set that to the correct uh, value. All right, so we're gonna come back, change our value. Let's see, we need it to go in the positive. So again, from zero, we want it to turn right, uh, not quite 90 degrees, so we're gonna go, I know the value is 79, and that's what I want it to be. Write the project file. Copy that to the mods folder. Again, we're not building our whole track again. We're just updating a file that needs to be in the folder itself. Uh, now let's go back over to the game and check the position. All right, let's check this position, hit the photo button, and there we go. It's in a good enough position for me. So we rotate it at that 79 degrees. That makes it more line up with the position that I want it to be in. And that is a great place for the photo. Uh, so I hope all of you guys, you know, take advantage of this feature, put that in your tracks so the writers can get some nice photos on your track of a, a nice picturesque setting instead of just in the pit, you know, with a bike on the stand. Now, for everybody that doesn't use the Track Builder Helper, I strongly encourage you to do so. Uh, it makes things a lot easier. If you're following along on TFC's tutorials, you can keep doing it many like that to learn. You can use my tool for your first track also, though. And if you're interested in what the files look like, it's just a better editor than Notepad. Uh, it makes sure that you're not going to make mistakes in the files, spelling, names of things. And uh, but if you're stubborn, let's go back. Let's go back to those files and let me show you where to add this manually if you so choose to do so. All right. To take a look at any file that the Track Builder Helper is generating for you. All that you have to do, open up the project folder, and we will come over here, and let's look at the track build. So again, the one that we're looking for is the track info. So if we go down to, that will be the name of your track, plus the .ini extension. If you don't have extensions, if you can't see what these extensions are, uh, go up to view, uh, options, and I believe you will go to view, and you will see, where is it? There is an option down here. Here we go. Hide extensions for known file types. By default, that is checked. Uncheck that. 
hit apply and now you're going to see all of the correct extensions for your files all right a little bit of house cleaning out of the way let's go back to the ini file for your track edit that in your favorite text editor notepad plus 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 let's look at that and we go down here and we see this is a section that you need to add manually if you're going to do it that way or the track builder helper will add it for you uh, so what you want to do just the photo tag long lat angle and steer steer uh, minus one is to the right and oh hmm, i'm gonna have to look at what the actual uh let's look what a left what the left value is so let me go back to track builder helper change it to left and let's write that project file and we'll go back to our text editor yes reload it okay one means to the left negative one means to the right again that's the manual way to do things like i said i encourage everybody to uh, use my tool uh, check out the description there's a link to my discord uh, if you want more information on my tool support for it even some general uh, tips uh, questions if you have questions on track building uh, come to discord go to the right channel ask away and hopefully somebody can help you uh, i do my best to give some questions uh, answers but i hope you enjoyed this video i uh, appreciate uh, you taking the time to watch it i hope this tip helps you Take that next step, make your tracks better for everybody. And uh, thanks a lot, and I will catch you on the next one.